Hello, I'm Rosalind Nieves. Welcome to Queen's Perspectives. Visit Queen's Council on the Arts website at queenscouncilarts.org. QCA is the go-to resource for artists and art organizations. You'll find their calendar of events, grant information, creative conversations from actual artists. They have workshops and artist services and programs. Take a look online to learn about the resources that are available to you. Today, we spotlight Queen's Council on the Arts and their Caribbean Carnival. I'm with Hung Yee Lee Krakauer, the Executive Director for Queen's Council on the Arts. Hung Yee, thank you for joining me. Rosalind, thank you for joining me. Tell me, what's going on tonight? We are having a Caribbean festival. We're going to be doing a lot of Calypso dancing, stilt walking, singing with the Calypso Queen of Trinidad, raising money for artists and queens. 2018, this is our biggest festival yet. And wish you were there. I wish you were here too. Guess what? This is a fabulous event. It's at the Knockdown Center over in Nasdaq, Queens. Who are the honorees for this evening's event? Uh, we got Jimmy Van Bramer, who is the New York City Councilman for District 26 and a champion of the arts. Lisa Scully, the general manager of LaGuardia Airport. Aki Todek from Aki International, and Sheila Lewandowski from the Chocolate Factory. Awesome! What about the food tonight? What, what, oh, what can we expect? Listen, we got some Caribbean food from Mandukati's Rustica like you have not seen. You name it, we got it. Now we are so excited to be here for the Queens Council of the Art. They're a wonderful partner in Queens. I'm on the Queens, the Hunters Point Parks Conservancy Board, and they're amazing partners of us, very supportive of all of our events along the LAC waterfront. The reason I volunteered to be a part of this is because, as an architect, I believe very strongly in melding art and architecture, and I saw the QCA is such an advocate for artists in, New York, in Queens. And for me personally, our firm, with, along with Transitional Services for New York, received the first NEA grant in the country to provide art in affordable housing. And it was QCA that helped us write the grant that got so that's why I'm, I'm very, very supportive of it. It's really important to support the Queens uh, Center for the Arts. Queens is the best place to be in the city of New York, and we have some of the best artwork and the best talent. It's a great place to just come in and see everything that we do. Hi, my name is Carrie Edge. I am an awardee of the Queens Council of the Arts. I'm going to do a new work called Prodigy Adventures, dedicated to the late, Albert Johnson, a.k.a. Prodigy from Queensbridge. Well, we're, we're involved in LaGuardia Airport. We feel the Queens Council for the Arts is really a great way to bring artists into the community and attach art to the community. We're a part of the community, so it's, it's just a great connection. So we're strong supporters. Excellent. Are we going to see some of these Queens artists artwork at LaGuardia? That would be wonderful. We hope so. We hope to find ways to bring the Queens art community into the airport so it can it could be exposure for the artists, the upcoming artists, to the traveling public. Good evening, everyone. First of all, I want to say thank you to uh, the amazing, uh, the wonderful, uh, Jana Serbontioli, who is the president of the board of Queens Council of the Arts. Everyone give some love to Jana. And uh, our amazing executive director, Hung Yee Lee Krakauer. Uh, and as some folks know, I was once the president of the board of Queens Council on the Arts. Uh, and I get to champion artists every single day. Do you believe in artists? And do you believe in Queens? Do you believe in the borough? Because Queens doesn't always equal the borough, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Little shout out and love to my LGBT people out there, no? Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you uh, for being here supporting Art in Queens, Artists in Queens. A big shout out to my husband, Dan Hendrick, who is out there. 
Dan is going to lead all of us in the limbo right after this speech is over. Uh, but also, when you honor me, you also honor my staff, uh, the men and women who work on my team every single day. Uh, they're all here today, so please give a round of applause to my staff, the members of Team JVB. And, and I'll be brief because I really like to dance too. Uh, I want to thank and congratulate my fellow co-honorees, uh, including my dear friend Sheila Lewandowski, <laughs> who I met when I was on the board of QCA and she was a staff member uh, and we've become friends ever since. Uh, but thank you for supporting artists. Queens is where it's at. No, Queens is everything that we want to be. Brooklyn is so over. For those of you who are from Brooklyn, I'm sorry. But Queens is where it's at. I love Queens. And Queens is great because of artists and because of culture and because of really fierce people like the ones in the room today. So I get to be your champion every single day at the council. Thank you so much for honoring me, but more importantly, for honoring and supporting artists every single day. Thank you so much. First of all, let me just say, I'm really thrilled to be honored tonight by Queens Council on the Arts. I used to be the president of this organization long before I got elected. And uh, this is a big moment for me and for my team. Uh, it's, a, it's an acknowledgement of the work that we do every day to make sure that the arts are thriving, not just in my district, but all over Queens. And so this is going to be a fun night that we're going to celebrate and dance and, and really celebrate the arts here in Queens. Excellent. Am I going to see you dancing tonight? The, I, you know, it's funny because I'm the chair of cultural affairs, but I can't paint and I can't sing. Uh, but I can dance. Okay. So that is the one thing that I can do well, so I will be dancing tonight, yes. Excellent. See you out there to dance. Absolutely. Thank you. And I believe the work that Queens Council on the Art does is super important, especially for the borough of Queens that's really diverse and has a lot to offer in terms of culture and work. So we want this organization to grow, and we love your support as much as possible so we can produce better and better artists every year. We love Queens. We're native New Yorkers, four out of the five boroughs, native Manhattanite, and we uh, adore Queens. And we support Queens Council for the Arts because the difference is between living each day looking in the box compared to the arts, which allows us to look outside of the box. And without that, life would be very boring. And Tang Yi, for the, this honor, I'm thrilled to accept this tonight, and I'm so pleased to be honored by the Queens Council on the Arts. You know, we are rebuilding LaGuardia Airport, and we're doing that to accommodate 30 million travelers. But what's going to happen is all of that investment that we're making and the opportunity to provide a great customer experience, we also have to engage with the customer. We have to provide a way to connect with them. And with a relationship with the Queens Council of the Arts, I am very hopeful that we can bring programs into the actual airport where we can display the diversity of Queens, the actual breadth of talent in Queens, bring artists in and let our customers, that's right, clap for Queens, Queens is awesome, and let the travel who may not actually get a chance to, to leave the airport actually have Queens come to them through your artistry, through your talent. So thank you for that opportunity. I look forward to seeing many of your, your all of your expertise and your beautiful skills and talents coming to LaGuardia. Thank you so much. So I am absolutely thrilled. I mean, this is a privilege. It's not just an honor. It really is a privilege. The Queens Council of the Arts, I'm so excited. I run LaGuardia Airport and we're working together to try to bring art to our customers. You know, Queens is so diverse. The borough has so much to offer, but a lot of travelers that come to LaGuardia don't have the opportunity to actually go into the borough. They're often just using the airport to travel to another location. And so we want to bring the community into the airport. And hopefully by doing that, they'll really see the beauty and, and the really vibrancy of Queens and then next time want to stop in and see the community for themselves. So we're working very hard together in the council. I really have so much respect for all of them in terms of really building the relationship with the artists and the broader community. I 
am a performance artist and an actor here from Jamaica, Queens, and I am just very, very happy to be working with Queens Council on the Arts because it allows me to link my community with the artists and just show all the rich culture and, and arts that we have to offer here in Queens. So this is a rewarding job for me, and I know it's just great to be here. Aki Aki Todek fell in love with the views from Astoria Park, and he is building on Astoria Park to give people that view. He has a vision, he's built a business, he's built really an empire on that vision. I'd like you to meet him now. Aki Todek. Thank you guys, I'll, I'm proud to be part of this event. I think uh, Queens stands up more than any other borough. We got a long future in front of us. I'm looking forward to be part of this and support all the artists moving forward in Queens. So, future is ahead of us. I support the arts because it means so much to the community, to anyone else being around art. So, this is my first time being at this event. I felt proud of being at this event, especially getting honored. I uh, hope this is the beginning of our career and our business real estate structure that we try to bring to New York City, specifically Queens, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, be ahead of any other boroughs if things go well the way it is. Sure, thank you. So, I am so psyched about this next person. We happen to be very good friends, women power. We're about helping each other, lifting each other on our wings. Sheila Lewandowski of the Chocolate Factory, we'd like to honor you. We believe in whatever the lives of an artist, the simple ways we sure to impact our community. You have impacted our community. I am incredibly humbled and honored, but I am because what I get to do and I have helped do is build a building for artists to develop and make work in Queens. At Queens Council on the Arts, I got to be, make friends with people like our incredible council member, Jimmy Van Bramer with Honey. I have my dear friend, Gianna from Long Island City. But I ask everyone, yes, no, please. Can I get a woo -hoo? Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. I saw you, Dan. Bring it up, bring it up. But artists are what make New York special. Artists are what make us innovative. They make us creative. That's why companies move here and they stay here. That's why developers like fellow honoree Aki is building here. That is why the band of friends, my, including my friend Tina, have her restaurant and comedy here. That's why all of you are here. You would not be here if it were not for the creative collective voice of artists and creativity. Your children in arts education are taught by artists. And this is why the arts councils are important. So I asked you to be quiet because I want us to not forget that New York City, that Queens, even Brooklyn, it's about creativity and artists. So I am very grateful and humbled because I get to wake up and I get to say, do it every day. I feel incredibly humbled and honored because we created something with the Chocolate Factory that was basically to give back to the neighborhood, the artists, the arts in Queens. We need the arts and the artists in Queens. They make it a vibrant, innovative, special place, and we need to support them so they keep making work for us. So I am honored and humbled to be recognized for doing something that is just about giving back.
support Queens Council of the Arts um, because it's, I think the arts are so important for the community, for the outlet, for everyone. Um, I'm just like a big art supporter in general, and I think that um, Queens Council of the Arts does such a good job at reaching out to the community and helping to support uh, local artists. Um, Queens Council does really amazing things for creative people who live here in Queens. And it gives them an opportunity to really feel comfortable in their own skin. And it supports them financially, which is really hard in New York City, as we all know. So yeah, I'm just really honored. I'm an entrepreneur. I have my own company here, and like I met Hung Yi and a couple other people through like artistic endeavors, and I really had the opportunity to like hone in on my craft through their support. I got involved with Queens Council on the Arts because I loved what they were doing to support local artists, and we just continue to do that after over 50 years strong. And there's so many great things happening with the programming. So I would say just keep looking out at our website and everything that we're doing because we're growing. I am on the junior board of the Queens Council in the Arts and I got involved because I'm born and raised in Queens and there's nothing better than this place. I was walking down the street in Long Island City. I saw this beautiful woman with long braids and uh, it was Jana. And she's an artist, or a supporter of the arts. And so she's the one who drew me into the council. And I think you do fabulous, fantastic work because we artists need all the support we can get. I'm an activist, she's an artist. So we integrate. I do the hard work, she does the soft work, but it comes together. <laughs> hard work. You do the soft work. She does the hard work. I do the soft work. See, I, that's what I've learned to submit after 54 years of marriage. Yes. Because <laughs> I sit home and I do the writing. He said, you write them, I sell them. But writing is the hardest part. <laughs> and selling is the easiest part because how could you not sell this beautiful lady? I agree. I agree. I agree. What a beautiful valentine. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mandy Estenville, and I support art in Queens because I was born and raised in Queens, and my father was an artist, and he taught me from an early age on how enriching art is to one's life. And my way of honoring his memory is by promoting art as, as, as much as I can. I support Queens Council on the Arts because they bring and support the arts in Queens, the most diverse place on the planet. And we like working with Queens Council on the Arts because they bring um, artists to Queens Botanical Garden, which is the place where people, plants, and cultures meet um, and reflect the diversity of our borough. Council of the Arts is fabulous. Nungi is wonderful. And you know, in life, it's all about creativity. Figuring it out, making it happen, making it beautiful. So I'm totally for them. This event is so cool and exciting, and I can see all these artists on the spot. Get a Queen's perspective. Go visit Queen's Council on the Arts. They're located at 3711 35th Avenue in Astoria, New York. Zip code 11101. That's it for today's show. If you miss any part of this program, just go to qptv.org forward slash Queen's Perspectives to view the entire show online. I'm Rosalind Evans, and I'll see you next time on Queen's Perspectives. Thank you for watching.